What is going on, combat sports fans? John Ram Dean here in New York City at Evolution Muay Thai, and we are gearing up for Glory 9, which goes down at the Hammerstein Ballroom this Saturday, and you can catch all the action live right here on Fight Network. Some of the world's best kickboxers will be in action. I had a chance to hear from them, as well as one of the members of the broadcast team. By performing well, I will entertain the audience and I will promote the sport in a, in a good way, you know, and um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm the biggest name here and it's my uh, obligation, you know, I, I have to do it. I'm committed to do it too. Um, Glory is a new organization, but it's already the biggest worldwide and um, I want to take it to the next step and I'm going to do my, my best, you know. You see guys like Daniel Gita and man, I want a picture, I'm a fan, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's a cool experience seeing guys that you've watched uh, growing up early in your career and being around these guys as you're going to fight on the same card is a really big deal and it's something where I want to perform even better now because uh, these guys, uh, the attention that they have is all coming off on you as well so I want to perform extra well for uh, everybody. I'm happy to be joined by the fight professor, Stephen Quadros, and uh, Stephen, obviously, Glory 9, going down right here in the Big Apple. Some of the biggest names in kickboxing, we have Daniel Gita standing beside us, Tyrone Spong, uh, Toronto's own Joseph Valtellini on the card, who you, I'm sure you were surprised by with his win over Murak Duretsky in uh, Turkey. Uh, what can fans expect at the Hammerstein Ballroom? Well, we're going to see the most competitive light heavyweight tournament in the history of kickboxing because you've got four number one through number four ranked light heavyweights in Daniel Ilunga, Murad Direxi, Michael Dute, and Philippe Verlinden. And then you got the wild card coming in, uh, a guy named Tyrone Spong, who's not even ranked at light heavyweight. He's ranked at heavyweight at number four, dropping down in weight. So we've got you know, D Justin Dacobi, who won a Road to Glory tournament. We've got all kinds of things. We're going to see some great finishes. We're going to see some great competitive kickboxing. We're going to see a high level of kickboxing. Why is, uh, why is Glory decided to expand their horizon so to speak and try out different markets like New York they were in Turkey uh, is the goal just to expand wherever there is a market obviously anybody who watches this stuff if you're a fan of combat sports uh, glory is the type of product they're looking for uh, is the goal global expansion I think so I mean it's pretty obvious that that would be the answer to that question because the first show was in Stockholm the next show was in Brussels then Rome then Tokyo I mean we've been going around the world we said hey why don't we go to the biggest fight market in the planet right now let's face it God bless you know all the other organizations that have done so much good work in MMA and in kickboxing previous to Glory but now Glory is going to show the top of the shelf the premier kickboxing on the planet here in New York June 22nd. Okay, I got to put you on the hot seat. What is your pick for fight of the night? What are fans going to absolutely love? Well, one of the fights that I'm really looking forward to is one of the reserve matches, which is Artum Yahatov versus Luis Tavares. You got Tavares who looks a lot like a young Muhammad Ali, lives in Holland, going up against a Russian fighter with 100 amateur fights and 95 wins. Two slick young men going head to head. That's just the tip of the iceberg because we've got other fights like the opening tournament match. Uh, you, asked, you said one I'm going to go to. I'm going to give you two <laughs> fights. Okay, fine. Uh, is, is that opening tournament match between the number one ranked light heavyweight, Daniel Ilunga, Dabuba is his nickname, going up against another man that he knows extremely well from their escapades in Holland in number three ranked Murad Bouzidi. That fight will be top of the food chain when it comes to stand-up fighting. And just remember folks you can catch all the action live on Fight Network this coming Saturday. I promise. And I'll you're be commentating. <laughs> That's right he's commentating. You're gonna love the action. I promise you that.